Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check for the week of June 14th through the 21st. This is for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So um, I hope you're all staying well and I really appreciate everyone watching the readings and liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Thank you so much for doing that and if you're new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you tap the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are posted, but it's basically every week, okay? And I actually, so I do these weeklies. I've, in just a couple days, you'll see a new uh, video for mid-month, and that one will be more in-depth. I do for the mid-month and the monthlies uh, more in-depth reading, okay? So you just had a card fly out. I'm going to put that on Monday for you. Um, or actually, I think I'm going to use it as a clarifier, but we're going to keep that because for some reason it was important. What is going on here? Guidance, please, for Libra. Guidance here for Libra. Guidance, please, for Libra. All right. I don't have that happen too often, so um, we want to see what that is about. So we go day by day here, and I don't generally use clarifiers, but we are for this one. So Sunday, you have the Three of Swords. Monday, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Tuesday, you've got the Knight of Cups. Wednesday, you've got the Nine of Cups. Thursday, you've got the Ace of Swords. Friday, the Page of Swords. Saturday, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Well, you've got three Aces. Well, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat because you've got strength here too. This is infinite abundance okay whenever we see the infinity symbol we always want to pay attention to whether it's in the two of pentacles it's in the magician or it's in the strength card um you've got you've got infinite abundance but it's based on your own ability to be patient um and you've got new stuff coming in for sure so if you've had some heartache in the past you've got new love coming in for sure uh, no doubt about that and some of you may say good riddance finally to somebody so if they try to come back around, I think it's going to be time to move on because you've got something that wants to come in, but it's going to be stayed being um, kept at bay until this is cleared out. So Sunday, you've got this three of swords, and this is certainly about betrayal, but it, it can also be just a time of just not feeling like feeling sad, feeling regret. And that's what I feel like it is. I don't feel like there's a betrayal that happens on Sunday as much as there's um, there's some kind of like a sentimental feeling that just kind of lurks and lingers and feels uncomfortable. So just to talk about the elements, you have um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. You have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have Leo and you have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, all right? So again, Sunday, I think you're a little bit melancholy, but that feeling ends very quickly. Each day is a new beginning, right? And so Monday you begin and it's like on top of the world. You've got the Ten of Pentacles here. This is not only the wealth card in the tarot, but it's harmony for everyone. So I feel like the energy, you get more focused. And I think a lot of times we tend to do that when things don't feel good, you know, especially like people that talk about, I work well under pressure. Why? Because they become much more focused when there's a deadline and it's looming. That's all. So it just does something to get them more focused. And I think that uncomfortable feeling does that for you. It gets you more focused and it starts, life looks a lot better. It looks a whole lot better come Monday. Um, so for some of you, you've definitely got new opportunities coming in for money, but you got new opportunities coming in for love too. It's like a brand new beginning is coming towards you. So if you've had some struggle here, Libra, and even just feeling kind of complacent and stuck, I mean, you've got three aces here. So on Tuesday, you have the Knight of Cups. You, there's, you're definitely on somebody's mind. They're daydreaming about you. They're fantasizing about you. And they're smitten. They are, they've got dreamy eyes, goo-goo eyes over you. You know, and they may be doing some things, too, where I feel like they maybe have pictures of you or something like that. Because it might be somebody you already know or it's somebody you're beginning to date. And they just look at them, you know. It's like, almost like, too, 
you leave uh, some shirt or dress or something at their place and they smell your perfume or your cologne on it. It's that kind of energy. They're very wistful. They've got a serious case of sort of the, the wistfuls going on here. And, um, but it's quite lovely. It really is a nice compliment coming all the way through here. Um, so Wednesday, you've got the Nine of Cups, and there's reciprocity here. There's definitely a feeling of um, hospitality, like you may have the person come over to dinner, or you may just, you have, you have something going on here where there's reciprocal energy, you know. Um, it, there's definitely an emotional nature about this, so it's like something that really moves your heart. Um, and it, and it may just be something as simple as a text, too, that's just kind of well-written and simple and just very to the point and beautiful. I apologize, there's a loud sound outside. Um, and it's startling two little dogs, so they might be chiming in. So on Thursday, you've got eight, the Ace of Swords here. And this is clarity, but like I said before, you've got a new opportunity this is a, definitely a new endeavor it feels more like work though with this ace of swords like you have a really clear vision of what to do you are inspired here this is your own energy um so it's like the portal has been opened and the truth comes out that you know there's clarity there's also communication coming in so if you have somebody who hasn't been forthright about their feelings they're going to come forward and communicate um you know and again for sure with all these aces lined you've got the page of swords on friday and again this is where i think this person has a major crush and they're peeping around you they're keeping tabs on you they could even organize or architect a chance encounter that's not much of chance and more organized <laughs> than it looks they're a little bit um <clears throat> they're a little bit shy. It's like they want to be forward, but there's something about that that's just not in their nature. So they almost would rather do it in a way that seems, you know, sort of uh, happenstance, but it's not really because they're paying attention to things. Um, they could even be talking about you a little bit, kind of doing some research about you and telling people they think you're, you know, I mean, talking about you in a very positive way. But it does feel like they're trying to kind of check some things out about you. Um, but yeah, they've got a big time crush, whoever this is. Um, <clears throat> or if it's new and you know who it is, they're, like I said, they're in. They're hook, line, and sinker. So um, Saturday, you've got this Ace of Pentacles, or excuse me, Ace of Cups. I was looking at the elbow buddy here. The Ace of Cups, I think somebody's going to actually say, I love you. I get that for somebody. They're going to. They're actually going to have somebody who says it for the first time. I don't know who that's for, but I can tell it's happening. For one of you, um, there's emotional intensity in this, and it's um, passion. I mean, there really is a pull here, an energetic pull. And it's exciting. It's new. It feels like nothing in the world really matters. It really gets, it's that intense where it's like hard to focus on anything else. Um, it's unconditional you know it's like a never-ending cup of love it's that kind of relationship when you know people couldn't imagine it ending when it begins it's like or in one once it kind of gets underway where people would say I can't imagine them getting a divorce or I can't imagine them not together that wouldn't make any sense I mean it would make people sad to not see it together not see you together um, so you have this Ace of Pentacles on Sunday, so this is Father's Day, and this is a new resource, okay? It's a huge opportunity for somebody here. You may be getting an offer, some kind of an offer, monetary-wise, money is coming through. Um, so in the next week after this, it certainly could be a promotion, a realignment, a raise, something like that. And it, it's possible for somebody, they may have something on Father's Day where they're given money. I know it's, unless you're the father, but I know it seems kind of odd, like why would they, why would my dad give me money when it's Father's Day? But something where it feels like it's a family thing, um, you know, where people are reorganizing their, their finances and have money to give and kind of think, well, I can't, you know, I can't spend all this money. I might as well give it out.
So very, very nice reading for you guys. And so here is uh, an oracle card to attract more love into your life. Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. Okay, so for those of you that have something new, and again, you've got the strength card in with abundance and, and also, too, I think a careful sense of timing. There's something about timing with that. Um, so we're going to close things off with uh, Abraham Hicks, Money and the Law of Attraction. The physical me is materialized spirit. I apologize for the lighting change here. We're getting a storm and I'll adjust it, I guess, as I go along. Say, some say that you should not want money at all because the desire for money is materialistic and not spiritual. But we want you to remember that you are here in this very physical world where spirit has materialized. You cannot separate yourself from the aspect of yourself that is spiritual. And while you are here in these bodies, you cannot separate yourselves from that which is physical or material. All of the magnificent things of a physical nature that are surrounding you are spiritual in nature. So we get what we think about, okay? What our mood is, what our feelings are, that's what the material plane is developed from. So you can really have, do, or be anything and, and know that, live by it, and great things will come to pass. So I love you so much, Libra, and I'll be back again soon.